Let's talk immigration reform. What in the world is going on on Capitol Hill? All right, so I haven't covered this in a long time. That's because I think that there's a lot of games going on on Capitol Hill. All right, um, firstly. So this week, here's what's new. This week, um, four senators got together and they had what they called a bipartisan meeting to discuss what immigration um, bills are out there that could potentially get them to the 60 vote threshold that they're going to need to pass in the Senate. And this is driven by Senator Durbin um, largely, as you guys have been hearing you know, about him over the past year and change. But he really hasn't done anything. OK, he hasn't. He hasn't done anything. And now they're they've resurrected these bipartisan talks. Um, they failed the last time with this bipartisan group when it was a much larger when it was a larger group last year. Now they're talking about, OK, maybe if we can get to that 60 vote threshold and do something for dreamers, TPS um, holders, farm workers, our economy needs lawful workers we need more workers it is a fact but is but you know they have not really pulled the trigger all right they haven't really pulled the trigger so they had a meeting they didn't walk away with anything concrete there is no framework right now they said they basically said that their staff you know staff is talking among themselves or to each other to each other um, to kind of figure out what will this framework look like. And so um, hang in there if you're out there and you've been watching and waiting for immigration reform to happen. You guys know that I have your back on this. I'm going to keep you in the loop if I see or think that something promising is happening on Capitol Hill that could help you. Um, I will be one of the first, among the first, to come out and say, breaking news, guys, <laughs> right? Breaking news. I haven't said that in a while. Breaking news. Because in my gut, I think that there's, a, there's some, you know, there's, they're not being very genuine and serious. However, there is talks that maybe something can happen during lame duck. OK, um, after the November election and before the new Congress um, goes, you know, into office in next year, January, during that period, that lame duck period, perhaps they will do something. So that's the hope that we're holding up, we're holding on to.